three, two, one, snap, crackle, pop. Welcome to Spraylock Nation. Another glorious day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Still overcast, as oddly enough. It's just been uh, four and a half minutes since the last video. But we have changed studios. Yes, we did. We ran way all over from 71 to 70. We went back one. Yep. I don't know. You know why? No. I don't either. Okay. It's, it's the guy behind the cameras. Yeah, this one has better access for the monkeys, I think. No monkeys have been harmed in the making of any of our videos. <laughs> Excellent. So what are we talking about today, Joshua? Are you down with SCC? You know me. I am. So For anyone who's old enough to get that joke, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done it, but music runs through my head all day long. Yes. So what is SCC? And it's not SEC, the Southeastern Conference, and it's not the Securities and Exchange Commission. I was, it know. is SCC, but what it is depends on where you're at. If no, you're here in no, the States, no, 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 no. it's self-consolidating concrete. If you're over the pond in the UK, it's self-compacting concrete. But we're, we're here in the United States. Yes, but people could be viewing the videos wherever. So I just wanted to clear that up. That Can you put a disclaimer, Fred, at the bottom? I'm brought right here. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's just called different things depending on where you are. But it is, an, it is another thing that the UK gets wrong. No, no. Do not. No. I'm not doing this with you. Oh, come on. Biscuits? No. Chips? No. Not doing Lifts? It. What? Lift versus elevator. Is that the thing that you... No, that is not. Your lifts are the things you put in the bottom of your heels to make you look a little taller. Oh, well. You know, in the sales game, we we have to uh, look our best. Well, you're failing at that. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, what is SCC? What is what is self compacting or self consolidating concrete? It's a really wonderful mix of concrete that does a lot of really cool things and gets you in places you couldn't normally get because you don't need a vibrator. Yep. So, and that's really my first experience was a wonderful job that me and you were working on. Yes. And it had a lot of rebar. Yes, it did. That was the most challenging job I've ever been on. Um, I don't think we can from a placement perspective. I don't know that we can speak about the job itself, but we can talk picture about a the big now. picture a big tunnel full of rebar, and you're pouring half of it, the bottom half at one time. So underneath, you're not going to get normal concrete. So number eleven bars on four inch centers, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal. You could not get a pump hose into the rebar. No, so, so we had to have a mix that would flow through and around rebar, which is the SCC that I first had, had seen. Yep, and it had to be able to drop a certain number of feet without segregation at the bottom of the hole. So, oh, yes. Yeah, so, so it was a challenging, challenging mix, but uh, it all worked out. And so congested rebar is the number one place, I think, that SCC is used. Right, and, and difficult placement situations, such as the drop that we had. So even if it wasn't congested with rebar, just the fact you had to get down and get underneath it, that would have required. But here's the cool thing. Yeah. Less labor. Yes, it is. very. Uh, I think they placed 10,000 yards of concrete on that one particular project we're talking about with maybe four guys, not including the pump operators. Yeah, because they didn't need any vibrating or yeah. tamping on it, so it really did help do it differently. I mean, the other place you can use is precast. Yeah, so it's really good at uh, the SEC. Let me just back up a minute because I, I wanted to explain a little better how it's a flowable concrete, and but it's it, you use the same water content as, or, or a little less water than conventional concrete mixes with a four to five inch slump. You're just using a tremendous amount of high range water reducer and super plasticizer. Pause. Yeah. I was right here in my notes. I was gonna get to it at the end. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry. Well, we were gonna go through every place you could use it at and then get into how it's different than regular concrete and why it's safe. Oh, using well, these. yeah, of course you I went my off notes script. right here. I went off script. I'm sorry, Josh. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Why do we even write these things down? I don't. <laughs> yeah, so it's using admixtures to get that high level of flowability. So you're still able to get your compressive strengths and the performance right. you want out of the concrete. Uh, whereas if you tried to get the same kind of slump flow with water. Oh, your, your water your ratio is gone, concrete, right. Yeah. So it, what I've seen is it's got a, usually a generally lower water cement ratio. Yep. But there's a couple other things that you that you're playing with yours is and you're reducing your ags. Yes. Your coarse aggregate uh, is generally going to be reduced some and, and reduced in size sometimes. Uh, you can use a normal size, you know, three quarter to one inch rock in SEC, but 
depending on your aggregate sources, some of the smaller rocks are going to work better, like like a three eighths or or, or uh, even a possibly a number four aggregate. Well, if you got congested rebar, you're not going to put three quarter inch right. inch rock in there. Right. You're going to have to go much much smaller. Yep. But if you reduce your coarse ag, yep. then what's happened to your fine ag? Your fine ag's got to got to respond by by being increased. So you're it's a it's a little bit of a sandier mix, if you will. But part of that is because you want that SEC to hold together in a cohesive manner. You don't, when you're talking about slumps as high as what we're talking, we're talking about, you don't measure slump in the fall from a cone. You're measuring the spread out of an upside down slump cone. The flow. The flow, so it's a slump flow. And then you measure, you're measuring that. And what can happen if you don't have your mix cohesive enough is you can get some segregation and you can get a halo of mortar that's separating from the coarse aggregate. Right. And so we, we increase the amount of fine ag to help hold that together, but we also sometimes use things like uh, viscosity modifying agents. Amorpha. Amorpha. Uh, had to, had to, uh, yeah, had amorpha to is great, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, in my book, it's the best thing on the market for, for doing just that, holding that mix together so that it all behaves uniformly. So just to sum it up, we're looking for a high flow mix yep. that has got the ability to get around rebar. Yep. And you can check that with a J ring. If y'all don't know what that is, please look it up. Yeah. It's a fun little test. And then it's got stability in order to be viscous enough not to segregate. Correct, yes. And so you're gonna want it to hold together in a pump truck, you know, as it's pumping through the lines. You don't want it to fall apart, rock go one way and and, and have mortar go the other direction, all of those things can be can be issues. But uh, SCC has grown in popularity, but I still think that we're not using it enough. It's a great, great product that uh, uh, really can make some nice architectural pieces, for instance, because you, th those the, the, the flow ability allows it to really take on the shape of the forms that it's in. We should also help. With no vibration. Well, with no vibration or tamping, you also can get rid of your bug holes that you yes. sometimes see in the, out, the outside look that you're looking for. It's able to get to it. Yep. If you got any questions, like, subscribe, hit us up here at our email addresses or phone numbers. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much.